we there yet? Are we there yet? Sometimes it takes a good bit of time to reach a safe landing. Our friends over at NASA know this all too well. Recently, teams of scientists have been hard at work designing a new model for the next lunar lander. A lunar lander, or moon lander, is a transportation vehicle. Its job is to transport astronauts from an orbiting spacecraft and safely land them on the surface of the moon. This is how scientists and engineers work together. How big should it be? What should it look like? How much should it weigh? Well, great minds have decided, Altair. The name Altair originates from an Arabic phrase that means the flying one. Altair is in the constellation Aquila. It's also the 12th brightest star in the northern hemisphere's night sky. In Latin, Aquila means eagle. Now here's a fun connection between this lunar lander and the first lander used by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin in 1969. The Apollo's landing module was named Eagle. Altair will be launched on a giant Ares 5 rocket. No one will be on Altair when it is launched. Then NASA will launch another rocket. The smaller Ares 1 rocket will launch the Orion spacecraft. The astronauts will ride into orbit in the Orion spacecraft. When Orion and Altair are both in orbit around Earth, they will hook up or dock together. The Ares 5 rocket will push the two vehicles out of Earth orbit. They will travel to the moon and orbit around it. The astronauts will move into Altair. Orion and Altair will undock. Orion will wait in orbit with no one aboard, and the astronauts will land on the moon in Altair. When the astronauts are ready to leave the moon, they will take off in Altair and dock with Orion in orbit above the moon. Then the Orion spacecraft will bring them home to Earth. Altair's plan to land astronauts on the moon will have two parts, or stages. The first is the descent stage. Descent means to move downward. The descent stage will take the crew down safely to the surface of the moon. The astronauts will live in the lander for a week. The second stage is the ascent stage. Ascent means to move upward. The ascent stage will take crew members back to Orion. I think I'd like to know more about this lander. How about you? Scientists and engineers from NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, and NASA's Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia, are working together to design Altair. The Altair lander is very much bigger than the Apollo lander. It's about twice as tall as the Apollo lander and about three times as massive. David North is part of Team Altair. Apollo could only take about 1,500 kilograms to the surface we can take 15,000 kilograms to the surface. Very cool. The lander is a very specialized vehicle. It's designed just to do that one function. How long will it take to go from the shuttle to the moon and then back again? Well, it takes about three hours to get from low lunar orbit down to the surface, and then another three hours when they want to leave to get back up from the lunar surface to the Orion crew vehicle. Unlike its grandparent, Apollo, Altair can carry a crew of four standing up. Apollo could only carry two. Another difference between Altair and Apollo is the airlock. Altair will have an airlock similar to those on the space shuttle and the International Space Station. This airlock will allow the astronauts to put on and take off their spacesuits without tracking pesky moon dirt into the main cabin. The unit will also include a new and improved camping style toilet. It will be similar to the one used on the International Space Station and no more cold leftovers, this lander will have a food warmer. It's exciting to think how Altair will help with human exploration. I think we can count on Altair for many happy landings.